Okay, in this video, we will go over why sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. And to illustrate this, what I'm first going to do is draw a right triangle. And so I will label the sides. This side right here is A, this side is B, and the hypotenuse is C. And this angle right here is X, this angle is Z, and this angle is Y. And we know that sine Z is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite being A, hypotenuse being C and cosine z is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, so b divided by c. Now, if I square this piece, I need to square this piece. And if I square this piece, I need to square this piece. And so I would get sine squared z is equal to a squared divided by c squared, and cosine squared z is equal to b squared divided by c squared. And we're trying to prove that sine squared z plus cosine squared z is equal to one. And so let's swap. So we know that sine squared z is equal to a squared divided by c squared. And we know cosine squared z is equal to b squared divided by c squared. So I would get a squared divided by c squared plus b squared divided by c squared. And if you notice, we have a common denominator of c squared. And we know for a right triangle, a squared, this side right here, plus b squared, this side right here, is equal to the hypotenuse squared. So a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And so now all I need to do is swap. So I know that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, so I swap this value right here with c squared. And c squared divided by c squared is one. And so we just showed that sine squared z plus cosine squared z is equal to one. And that's pretty much it for this video.